Welcome all OAT aspirants to our new video. We are speaking aiders. Today, are we going to discuss about cellulitis. Thank you for all the support, we do appreciate that. Please continue to watch, support and subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for all updates and like button, if video is helpful. Our aim is to make speaking tasks more friendly and simplify them with providing lots of ideas and you can develop them into beautiful structures. Let's begin our speaking session. Good morning, my name is Ronal. I am the examiner for the OIT exam conducting on 16th of December, 2020. Can you say your name for record? Good morning, my name is Marco. What is your candidate number please? My candidate number is 721567. And you're taking the test as a nurse, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Can I see your ID or passport please? Sure, here it is. Now, we moving to warm up sessions, they are not assessed, basically it's a chance to get each other's voices. In this part, I will ask you two to three questions, before we move to role play. Are you ready Mr. Marco? Yes, I am ready. Could you explain a trait in yourself, which is least like about? I am a bit emotionally sensitive in breaking or giving bad news to a patient or to a bystander, and I believe as human beings, we all find it difficult in breaking bad news. Whom did you learn most in your career? I must admit, I learned a lot from my tutors, seniors, and my colleagues, but my real teacher is my own patient, because from them I get a true picture of the quality of my performance. A future trend we can expect in your profession? Considering the current trends, I would say robots taking over the medical profession is what we can expect. Thank you Marco, that's the end of warm up session and let's begin the role play. Good afternoon, my name is Rinku, one of the registered nurses, working in this cellulitis clinic. Good afternoon nurse, may you take a seat. Thank you nurse Rinku. How may I address you? You can call me Mr. David. I understand your GP referred you here, so that we can discuss your newly diagnosed cellulitis condition. Is that so Mr. David? Yes, that's correct nurse. Well I'm sorry about this, but I would be glad to assure you that, this can easily be managed with the involvement of your cooperation. Cooperation? See nurse, I'm not sure, if I'm ready for the treatment. The only reason, I'm here today is just for a discussion. That too because of my doctor's request. Absolutely, Mr. David, I agree with your point and let's have a discussion about your condition. Then, you can decide, what to do. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Thank you Mr. David and I appreciate that. Mr. David, are you comfortable telling me what you understand about cellulitis? Nurse, if, I remember correctly, my doctor told me, it's a condition where all the cells get inflammation, that's brilliant. At least you know something about your diagnosis. Please allow me to enlighten you on this. Cellulitis is a bacterial skin infection, whereby the affected area of the skin becomes red and, mostly this comes with a hot sensation and tenderness. That's interesting. Do you have any symptoms like this? Yes nurse, sometimes I do have hot sensation and redness over my lower limbs. Okay, I am so sorry for that. Furthermore, cellulitis comes with some risk factors such as overweight, leg swelling and being aged more than 60 years old, due to their weak immune system. And in your case, I believe it can be the age factor. Indeed nurse, I too suspect that. Moreover, this condition mostly affects the lower limbs, although it is also known to affect any part of the body. Are you satisfied with our discussion so far? Yes nurse, in Thut's case, let's proceed to discuss on treatment modalities, you may please explain the treatment options. Mr. David, you certainly have to take a combination of drugs, that is some antibiotics to treat the infection, steroids to reduce swelling, some painkillers, and also I advise to taking plenty of rest. Would you mind to give it a try, I'm sure you will have a noticeable improvements within a few days and be assured that this is not a lifetime medications. No nurse, I still feel, this is one often will fade away shortly. I can understand, that you are not convinced about the available treatment. However I would like to suggest to think over about the treatment options and its benefits. If you start your treatment, now, not only you overcome with this problem, 
you can prevent the complications of the infection also. But if you avoid, I am afraid that, you may have to face severe consequences, where, medications and surgical options, would not be good enough. I know that final decision is up to you. I can only help you to make a right decision, which will give you the health benefits. So I request you to consider my suggestion. Sure nurse, I never knew, this condition was life threatening, if left unattended. I will definitely start my treatment immediately. Well, I'm happy that, my explanation helped you to make a decision. Right away, I will contact your doctor and inform about your decision. Thank you nurse. Thank you Mr. David and I wish you a speedy recovery. Bye. Thank you guys for watching this video. We hope you guys learned how to do a beautiful role play discussion. Please continue to watch and support our contents. Press like and subscribe button to show your support. See you on our next video. Meanwhile, if you have any doubts or suggestions, please comment. Speaking Eaters